Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to JP Barbecue. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Today we're gonna to be looking at these two smokers and seeing what they got to offer. You guys stay tuned. This is gonna be good. And of course, check it out. So if you're new to the channel, guys, do me a favor. Hit that little subscribe button right there, you know, and click on that bell. You know, those I would really, really appreciate it. You know, things like that really help the channel. I had to take this video and break it down uh, into smaller segments. Uh, after I got done with it and started editing it, it ended up being almost an hour long video. So instead of having you guys just watch for a whole hour, I broke it down into four videos, four roughly four 15 minute uh, videos. So I encourage you guys to, you know, watch all four all four videos because I'll cover the basics about both of these smokers and, uh, and even proper starting techniques. And, you know, the benefits of having one over the other is, is, is what, they bo what it boils down to be in regards to maybe you deciding uh, to purchase one of these types of smokers. So here's my videos. So let me tell you a little bit about these smokers. These two smokers are both Lone Star Grill built, okay? Lone Star Grills is a company out of Willis, Texas, owned by uh, Chris and Amber Goodlander. I've never personally met them, but I've had plenty of uh, correspondence with them, either through email or, or, or telephone calls. So wonderful people, uh, very prompt to reply to your questions that you may have in regards uh, to purchasing a new smoker or to even if you just have a you know a smoker already and you need some questions answered you know they'll, they'll, they'll reply you know pretty promptly so these two smokers built in Texas Lone Star Grills I'll put a website down below uh, in the description and it'll pop up right here as well LoneStarGrills.com uh, so Lone Star Grills has a lot of things uh, to offer, uh, just not these two types of smokers. They have uh, different size smokers um, you know, to fit whatever need you may have. And they also sell other uh, accessories. I think they have fire pits and other outdoor um, metal type of accessories that, if, that, you know, that you may need or you may want. So it's not just smokers that they sell, they, they sell you know, a uh, few other things. And when it comes to smokers, um, they have basically uh, two types of smokers, you know, in my understanding. They have the offset smoker, which is like this one right here. And the offset smoker comes in different um, styles as well. This is what you would call a cabinet style uh, smoker. Okay, let me, yeah, okay. This one right here is what they call a cabinet offset style smoker. And this is their 30 by 36. This one over here, this is the large insulated vertical smoker or for short IVS. And they make three different sizes for this as well. They have the, the mini, uh, I think they call it the peewee. I'm not hundred percent sure. Then they got the large or it could be vice versa, peewee mini and then the large. Okay, but you know, if you're interested in one of these smokers, go out to their website and check it out. Uh, you know, insulated smoker is, is, is a very good smoker. I've had this one uh, roughly for about six months. My uh, large cabinet style smoker, I've had this one going on three years. And guys, when I tell you, they're built like a tank. They're built like a tank. I think total weight on this smoker when it got shipped was over 900 pounds. Okay, 900 pounds of just of just hardcore metal. Okay, this one, uh, the insulated vertical smoker, when it got shipped, I want to say it was probably pegging about 1,300 pounds. So these are very well built, very heavy, uh, built to last type smokers. So let's talk about the 30 by 36. Um, again, this smoker I've had already for for several years and I've cooked a ton of food in it. You know, it's, it's, it's a big smoker. You can cook a lot of food in this, in this bad boy. <clears throat> so when they say 30 by 36, uh, they're talking about, you know, the size of the main chamber, of the cooking chamber. And it's a 36 from outside to outside dimension. So, you know, when you measure the outside, uh, it's 36 inches across with 
30 inches high, okay? Hence the word, the name 30 by 36. So this smoker is, is what they call a, a cabinet style offset smoker. Offset because where you put the wood, uh, your main fuel source, where it's gonna be, is offset from the main chamber. You know, all your heat is gonna be coming from, you know, from the firebox. The firebox is a 24 by 24, uh, you know, square box, and it's 20 inches deep. So, you know, it's 24 square with 20 inches deep. So you got a firebox that can handle quite a bit of wood, okay? Uh, that's the size of the firebox. Now the firebox comes in different sizes. You can get different sizes for it. I think the standard size that comes with it is quarter inch steel, and that's the one I have. Now, depending on what part of the country you're at or depending your needs and, you know, and, and, and what you want in your smoker, you know, you got two other options. You can get the firebox made out of half inch steel. And if you get it out of half inch steel, you know, that's, it's, it's gonna, <laughs> yeah, that's a heavy duty firebox. And you know, the, the bigger the steel, the, the better the heat retention uh, in regards to transferring the heat into the firebox. Uh, the other type of firebox that they have to offer is what they call a insulated firebox. So depending on what you want, what your needs are, you can get, you know, those those three styles. Now the half inch steel and the insulated firebox, those are uh, upgrades to, to the smoker. The standard quarter inch steel all the way around. Here where I live, it's done fine for me. I've had no problems with it. Uh, but there are other things that you could consider uh, getting for your firebox as a as an upgraded accessory that to me are very worthwhile let's check them out so let's take a closer look at the firebox and the and the things that i have inside the firebox as far as accessories uh come uh with it and what comes standard i'm gonna go ahead and put my my gloves on because uh, you know these things you know they are it is a firebox so it does get dirty and stuff like that and you know but let me show you the first thing so the very first thing is, is this a fire management basket. And again, this is, this is pretty heavy. You know, this has got a good weight to it and it's built, you know, strong, nice and, and heavy, you know, the metal. Well, I got a tape measure right here. Let's just measure it. See how thick this is. A little bit over an eighth. So that's one, two, three sixteenths, three sixteenths thick. Okay, um, and the way this fire management basket works, uh, right there in the middle, this open slot is uh, where it sits towards the back. And if you have the, the what they call the fire assist, this is where that port will go to. And you can see it's got plenty of holes in there for breathing and it's, and it's designed so you can lay your logs uh, in here. So let me go ahead and Put that right there and and this is this is pretty big this isn't this doesn't come standard this is an accessory item this is a an, an upgrade and to me it's a very well worth upgrade because uh, it it'll help manage your fire and keep everything concentrated uh, in one spot and allow a uh, easier transfer of heat into the main chamber it does come standard with one grill grate in case you want it to be grilling some steaks or something. Wait till you see uh, how thick the um, uh, the the firebox grate is. You know, it's no joke. It's it's pretty it's pretty big and thick. And it, and and it takes a little oomph to get it out. Ugh. Right here. This is standard. And if you look at it right there, is half inch thick steel, you know, cut with a plasma cutter or something. I gotta put it right there. Whew. You know, and, and if you don't wanna do no barbecue, hey, you do some curls, man. Mm. Yeah. That is, that is standard. Whew. Man, that about wore me out. Let me see what else I got in here. Oh, 
yeah this next thing here guys that i'm going to take out of the the firebox you definitely want to get you one of these these are it doesn't come standard but it's the ash pan and it is well worth it in, in my opinion it is well worth it i'm gonna tell you why let me take it out here we go this is the ash pan and this ash pan ain't no joke man i think this is heavier than that great or maybe i'm just wore out but you can do some more curls with this thing let me put it right there Ooh, quarter inch steel ash pan guys let me double check i, I think that's that's what it is yeah quarter inch steel so if you got a quarter inch firebox and then you got this quarter inch ash pan keep in mind the thing that destroys the 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 firebox the thing that destroys the smokers is the heat the hotter this metal gets you know it'll start to break down you know it's it's fire and metal you know it'll eventually just break down so quarter inch firebox with a quarter inch uh, ash pan i got a total thickness there of half inch so i got this to help not just with the ash ashes to collect the ashes but to save the bottom of the firebox because without this your ashes will just fall to the bottom of the of, of the of the firebox and those ashes will just be there baking that metal you know over time and i'm talking about a long period of time you know uh doing that repeatedly the metal will start to break down so this thing right here if if you don't uh, go for the half inch upgraded version of the firebox definitely get you the ash pan you know very well built nice and sturdy it's going to save the bottom of your your firebox if you know it's going to just last that much longer is what i'm trying to tell you so those are the things that are in there and i, I think there's one more thing oh yeah there sure is uh inside the firebox there is two levels for this grill grate to go so you can be right on top of the the ashes or you can be up a little bit higher you know so you you got two levels where you can put that other uh grill grate on there the the other thing that i have uh which is i think i believe it's also a very good uh investment of your money and and you don't have to get it but it just it just makes everything that much more easier when you're trying to light this bad boy because remember you got quarter inch steel here all the way around that you got to try to heat up to reach a certain temperature and it takes a lot of fuel okay it well not a lot of fuel but it takes a, a certain amount of fuel to be able to reach that temperature uh so i try to reach that temperature as fast as i can so i can get to cooking you know i don't want to wait an hour uh, you know uh, 90 minutes you know for this thing to come up to temp and and in most times uh, the way I light it, it takes about 45 minutes before it gets to my desired temp of 275. If you're cooking a little bit lower, you know, it's going to take less time. But the fire assist, okay, is very uh, beneficial because it's going to light your wood that much faster. So the other thing that's built into this uh, fire box, right on the top, you have you a griddle as well. And got cool touch handles on it and the size of this griddle uh, inside a little bit over 17 inches looks like about almost 17 and a quarter by 19 inches how often do I use that griddle I've used it a couple of times already I, I don't use it as much as you know I would like um, you know but you 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 can use it you know if you're having a a long cook and you're starting really early in the morning and you got that griddle fired up you know you can probably uh cook you some eggs and some bacon on there uh, you know stuff like that for breakfast but i've used it in the past uh, just to warm things up like let's say for example if i got ribs or something inside the the smoker and I'm looking to make a wet sauce, 
you know, I have used it for warming things up, you know, like barbecue sauce or, you know, you know, stuff like that. That way I can base the food that I'm, that I'm cooking with. But, you know, it is a, it is a nice griddle. And I do believe, you know, it comes out, it, it, you know, and I don't, not that I believe, but it does come out. And this is also quarter inch thick steel. Now, the nice thing about this plate right here, guys, is you can put this plate right on top of the the grill grate and you got yourself a pizza box you know and i've actually done pizza inside of it uh you know inside the fire box and it's <laughs> it comes out actually very very good uh very how would I describe it? A natural wood burning oven taste. Cause you know, that's essentially what this firebox is. Once you put that, gr that griddle on top of it and you close the lid, you know, you turned it into a, a, an oven. Mm. All right, and you can bake in it. Uh, I've actually done enchiladas inside my uh, firebox. You know, I've done pizza. What else have I done? I think that's really about the only two th two things I've actually cooked directly inside the firebox. Oh, I've done steaks as well, you know, just to uh, give it that that charred uh, taste before I put it inside the smoker, doing a reverse grill type style. So it's it's very versatile. These smokers are very versatile. Uh, this firebox is very versatile, and you can do a lot of things uh, with it. Uh, you just got to be creative about it. That's really about it for, you know, for the firebox. Let's, took it, let's take a look inside the main chamber now. So that's it for this portion of the video, guys. Uh, if you're interested in watching the next one, it'll probably pop up right there in that corner or maybe over here in this corner. And it'll take you to the next uh, video part of this playlist. But before you go, guys, do me a favor. Uh, hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to visit my uh, jpbarbecue.com store. It's where I got your favorite barbecue products and sauces. You know, visit the website. You know, you see something there you like, you know, get you some. Uh, okay, but besides that, hope you guys enjoy the next video.